Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Before I made you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I chose you for a special work. I chose you to be a prophet to the nations. Psalm 57, verse 2. I call out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 13. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Proverbs 19, verse 21. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Acts 17, 26 to 27. From one man, he created all the nations throughout the whole earth. He decided beforehand when they should rise and fall, and he determined their boundaries. His purpose was for the nations to seek after God and perhaps feel their way toward him and find him though he is not far from any one of us. Ephesians 2, verse 10, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. 2 Timothy 1, verse 9, For God saved us and called us to live a holy life. He did this not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan from before the beginning of time, to show us his grace through Christ Jesus. Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 11. As the snow and rain that fall from heaven do not return until they have accomplished their purpose, soaking the earth and causing it to sprout with new life, providing seed to sow and bread to eat, so also will be the word that I speak. It does not return to me unfulfilled. My word performs my purpose and fulfills the mission I sent it out to accomplish. Proverbs 16, verse 9. We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. John 15, verse 16. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. John 10, 10, the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. Romans 8, verse 28 to 30, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son, so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, he gave them his glory. Ephesians 1 verse four to five. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. Psalm 139, verse 13 to 16. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. Psalm 37, verse 23 to 24. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. 
Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I've given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. 2 Timothy 2, 20 to 21. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean, and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work. Romans 9, 20 to 21. Here's my answer. Who are you, a mere human, to argue with God? If God takes the time to shape us from the dust, is it right to point a finger at him and ask, why have you made me this way? Psalm 32, verse eight to 10. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. Thanks for watching this scripture playlist video from Deep Spirituality. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and visit deepspirituality.com for even more spiritual tools to help you in your walk with God.